Hey guys, I am back at it again. Um, having a bit of a lazy day, so in some pajamas, gonna talk about my late spring TBR. So summer starts June 20th. So I was thinking about how many books I should be able to read in that time. So I think 10 is a reasonable goal for that. So I'm just gonna go over those books with you and talk about them a little bit. So the first book I have on my TBR is The Circle, which I actually have right here. This is by Dave Eggers. This is about um, a girl who gets a job at a very big internet company and then finds out the company is holding a dark secret and chaos ensues. I've been eyeing this for a while, honestly ever since I saw the trailer for the movie, I just never picked it up so I decided to go ahead and put it on my TBR and I bought it, got it shipped to me and I'm very excited to see what it has to offer. The next book I have on my TBR is another one I have up here which is War Storm by Victoria Aveyard. So this book is the last book of the Red Queen series. I'm not going to read the blurb for this because I haven't finished the third book yet and sometimes blurbs and series spoil the last book. So I'm not going to read that to you guys. But essentially the Red Queen is about these two groups of people. There's Silvers, their blood is silver, and there's Reds, their blood is red. Silvers have special gifts. Reds are just normal mundanes. So our MC, she is a red, so her blood bleeds red. Um, and she finds out that she actually has her own special gift, which isn't normal and isn't supposed to happen, and she ends up leading a rebellion, essentially, against the silver regime, I guess you could call it. But this would be the last book in it, and I'm really looking forward to finishing this series. I'm on the third book now, and uh, not gonna lie, it's been pretty slow. I actually had to go to a different book because I'm not really feeling the third book so far. But hopefully after I finish this current book I'm on and I get back into it, it'll pick up a bit. The next book I have on my TBR is Outlawed by Anna North. This book is about a woman who's been married for about a year now and she has not been able to have a child yet or get pregnant, which is a big no-no because this takes place in the Wild West era. So she uh, joins a gang of outlaws that are trying to set up a safe haven for outcast women. I think the premise of this is sounds really interesting and I had a friend read it and she said it was really good. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what that's about. The next book on my TBR is Chosen Ones, which is by Veronica Roth. I believe this is her first adult fiction book, which I'm excited about. Divergent was okay. Her next series, Carve the Mark, the duology, I enjoyed that quite a bit. So I'm excited to see what this one has to offer. Uh, this book uh, takes place 10 years after a group of heroes defeat entity called the Dark One. One of these heroes is still stuck in the past and being haunted by the Dark One. She hasn't quite gone over the events that happened. Then uh, one of the heroes dies and they find out that the Dark One never really left. Uh, based on the premise, I think this book sounds really interesting and I'm hoping it's as good as it sounds. The next book on my TBR is Dear Killer by Katherine Ewell. This is about a girl who is a killer and she receives letters that always start with the title, Dear Killer, and they basically tell her who to kill and one day she gets a letter that, that makes her question her certain set of convictions and rules. I This is another book I, a friend of mine read and she really liked it so I'm guessing it's going to be pretty good. So I'm really looking forward to that. 
the next book on my TBR is Lore by Alexandria Bracken. I think I'm saying that right. This book, from what I gathered from the synopsis, it kind of, it sounds like The Hunger Games, except instead of The Hunger Games, it's called Agon, Agon, I'm not sure how you say it. And instead of children fighting, it's Greek gods versus ancient bloodlines. The Greek gods are forced to walk the earth as mortals and they're being hunted by these ancient bloodlines. Our MC, she, her family was killed by a person who then became a god. So now's her chance to get revenge and she is offered an alliance with Athena, who is one of the few original gods left. I've always been interested in Greek mythology, so I'm really hoping this is good. I've also really liked The Hunger Games, so sounds like it should be good. We'll see if it's well executed. The next book on my TBR is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I've heard a lot of good things just around booktube and just from my friends about Lee Bardugo's writing. So this will be the fir first book of hers I will have read and I'm really excited about it. Um, our main character in this, her name is Alex. She comes from a very shady past and she is actually a sole survivor of a multiple homicide. But when she wakes up in the hospital, she's offered a full ride scholarship to Yale, just out of the blue. Once she gets to New Haven, which is where Yale is, she is tasked with watching Yale's secret societies and monitoring their occult activity, which sounds pretty interesting to me. The next book on my TBR is Bunny by Mona Awad. This synopsis kind, sounds kind of similar to Ninth House. Our MC is an outcast at her college and there's this clique of girls called bunnies. And one day our MC gets invited to uh, one of the bunnies smut salons and there she kind of starts delving deeper and deeper into the world of the bunnies and what looks to be a little bit of occult activity as well and she starts tossing aside any friends she had prior. Um, like I said this plot sounds kind of similar to Ninth House so I probably will avoid reading those back to back just because the synopses do sound similar saying them out loud. The next book on my TPR is Dear Edward by Anne Nap Napol Napolitano? Napolitano. I don't think I'm saying that right. But this book is about a boy named Edward who at 12 years old was the sole survivor to this huge plane crash. And since then, he's had trouble kind of finding his way in the world. Like, he still feels tethered to the plane and the people in it. Which is understandable if you've ever gone through a traumatic experience. But I think it looks like this is going to be a good story about loss and tragedy and overcoming trauma. Which I'm very excited to see what it has in store. And the last book on my TBR is Do No Harm by Christina McDonald. This book, our main character is a wife, mother, and doctor. But then one day her son gets diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. So to afford treatment for her son, she starts selling opioids. One day there is a death, which I'm assuming is a, related to the opioids she's selling. And her husband, who's a detective, actually gets put on the case. So there's kind of a cat and mouse dynamic going on. Um, I think this sounds really cool. Um, I haven't seen a book like this before. But I'm really excited to read it and see what it has in store. So 
I guess I should talk about the books I'm reading now. As I mentioned, I'm reading the third book of the Red Queen series. I am about 81 pages in and that's where I stopped because I needed a break because it was pretty slow. So the book I started reading instead was The Memory of Police by Yoko Agawa, I believe is how you say it. Um, this book's been pretty decent so far. I'll probably finish it today or tomorrow when I'm filming this, which is April 6th. So, excited to finish that. One book I forgot actually is uh, Warm Bodies. Uh, this book I'm borrowing from a friend, but this is about a zombie. He lives on an old airplane and he's having trouble connecting and adjusting to his life as a zombie from my memory of the movie and my memory of the synopsis. He meets this girl and he starts turning more human, I guess you could say. Um, I did read the prequel for this and I'm hoping a lot of the questions the prequel left with me, this one will answer. So that's a book I forgot. So I guess there's 11 books on my TBR, but yeah. I should be finishing this one soon. I haven't started it yet, but it's up. It's one of the books up next on my reading list. So, Warm Bodies. But yeah, that's my TBR for up till middle of June when summer starts. So around summertime, I'll be making another TBR for my summer reading list. And I will keep you updated on these books as I finish them in my monthly wrap-ups. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you're able, go support your local book bookstore. All right, guys, I will see you guys next Saturday. Thanks for watching. Bye!